All right, guys, back here for part two. I'm still in a limited Highlander, still showing you uh, uh, some of the things that you can do. I'm going to show you the radio system and then what's on your center console, uh, your heated cool seats, things like that. Um, definitely, these things are amazing vehicles. I will show you everything that we can do with these cars here, at least not maybe not everything, because there is a lot, but I will show you a lot of what we can do, and I think you'll be impressed. Uh, so we're going to turn this around here. Now what I'm going to show you here is just, I'm just going to kind of do it how it is. This is the JBL system on here, um, but they'll they'll end up looking the same thing. So let me show you this. I'm going to hit your apps button here. Always hit the don't tell me again because you can always connect things via Bluetooth. But you can see you've got things like your navigation, your traffic. Um, the easy speak is really cool. Um, if you turn that on, you can set the volume to low, medium, or high, and it'll actually broadcast your voice to the back seat. Um, doing that is an amazing thing. It's, uh, you know, that way you don't have to turn Turn around to be unsafe uh, while you're driving now if you hit navigation here you'll see it'll bring up this is the default one which is always where north is up most people don't like that so you can actually hit this button right here and you see how it turns up um, now the way you're going is up and it'll tell you that you're heading west but the direction is up you also have a third view which kind of tilts it just a little bit more for you um, but it shows you that or it shows you a different view destination you can go through several things address you set your home address you can go to home some people just set it to the city they live that that's fine too however you want to do it points of interest you can find things like gas hotels things like that um, previous destinations address book all that stuff's pretty uh, cut and dry um, you also have up to five other preset destinations that you can put in here uh, for a quick uh, reference of course um, also you can click your more here you've got intersections so you can find a corner of two different uh, intersections or you know you know fifth and main or something like that you can find that <laughs> so um, now this I'm gonna go back to my app screen here it shows you a few things here I'm gonna show you this right here if you hit setup now when you hit setup you can start changing things set up home screen now see I've got a two panel that was set up which is what you saw initially you can change this to a three panel which is what most people do you can put in your easy speak most people switch this one to audio so I've got audio phone navigation I'm gonna show you what phone is here in a second so I've hit OK now this shows audio off if I hit this you're going into audio this one's got AM FM XM um, Bluetooth of course so if you hit that you're going there so um, go back home now no phone connected once you connect a phone you'll have four slots here those four spots are quick connects you can program very easily by touching and holding uh, individual people into your phone so or into your your vehicle so it's one touch and call you can also do it by voice recognition which voice recognition is right here and you can tell it call Bill Smith or whatever the name is and or you can say uh, start a new route say start a new route you're gonna start a new navigation route um, you can say cancel route pause guidance uh, find me gas uh, you know find a hotel what I mean just realistically you can say find Starbucks you can ask it about anything you want it to ask and it will uh, take care of you and find you know help you out pretty good it's a very very uh, good system um, so I, I like that a lot so um, and obviously if you hit your map it'll bring your map up to full screen you'll notice usually down here it'll list the road name you're on and the speed limit of that particular road um, so that's also awesome you'll also notice normally down here there'll be a little speaker right there it also ends up being a uh, center so if you get off your map here that'll center your map so you can ask you can mark it you can enter destination whatever you can do all that there you'll like i said if you see a little speaker down there while you're navigating what that'll do is repeat uh either what she just said or it will let you know how much you have left before your next turn so if you started and it was 100 miles to your next turn and now it's 55 miles to your next turn that that button will say make a right turn of 55 miles so it lets you know how close you're getting and then this will have all of your phone information up here. I don't have my phone paired, so um, pairing is very easy. You just hit that button. No phone's connected. This one's been paired before. So there's this. Now, if you also come in here, this will come into your setup. I'll just hit remove here because it doesn't need to be on there. Now, when I come back here, this is normally what you see. No phone's paired. Would you like to add one now? You hit yes. It'll, it'll step you through what you need to do to add it. Um, and come back over here to the apps hit setup again now this right here is your voice 
Now you can train your voice recognition to understand your voice. Uh, so if you have a heavy accent, maybe a foreign accent, uh, maybe a deep southern accent, sometimes the vehicle can have problems understanding you. If that's the case, you just hit this button right here. It'll tell you it's going to read you 10 phrases and it's going there. There's one that says make a reservation for two at Horseback Steakhouse or something like that. It's it's going to sound weird. It'll probably make you want to giggle, but um, it knows the phonetics of your voice after that point, and you won't have any issues uh, speaking with the system. So definitely a, a great system to have. I really like it. Um, we'll come back to apps here again. Um, uh, traffic, you have something called predictive traffic, which you can actually see how you got reds and yellows in that. If you start hitting these, you'll start seeing that as it goes, now this one just turned yellow. So it's predicting based off of previous information that uh, in about 45 minutes, this isn't going to be better or isn't going to be as bad than that. It's going to be a little bit better. Still be bad down, down there. That always is bad down there anyway. So um, definitely. Now weather, weather map. This is my favorite thing. This is actually a Doppler radar. Of course, this is Nashville. Um, it's a Doppler radar. Now, I've had people ask why you can only go out this far. Realistically, you're only going to be able to go about this distance from Nashville. It's about 150 miles or so, from what I can tell, um, from wherever you're getting the signal. Now, this isn't a pay system. This is from the HD radio system. So, all of the traffic information and all that is actually integrated into the system. And it's not like something you have to pay satellite radio to, to continue to get. It'll be with your, with your vehicle for you. Um, but you can uh, definitely do that. Now, it uses that HD radio system. So if you're driving down to Atlanta, well, it would cut off this down here. Well, as soon as you start getting where you can pick up HD radio systems, which every major city has, then it'll start to um, give you that ability there. So now I am going to show you this. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit the audio system. And let's just go to like 97.9, which is a country station. Here. So... So I'm going to turn this down just because I, you know, I know YouTube's special on uh, uh, any type of music. So um, I'm going to show you this here. That will pause live radio. You can pause it. You can rewind it. You can skip ahead up to 20 minutes. It will pause it as long as you're on that station. You change stations, you lost it. It's like the old TiVo. Um, as long as you have that on that station, you can back it up, forward it. You can pause and do whatever you want to do. Back it up for your favorite song. Whatever you want to do, you can do that. Um, but here now, what I'm going to really show you here is this. This up here, this one, two, three. It's a multicast. You actually have in certain HD stations, you'll have more than one HD station that will show different songs. Um, I know like here, NPR, uh, it's got two talk stations and one music station. So anytime you have an HD symbol up here, you just tap that HD symbol and you can get additional, um, additional channels. The station list, I'm going to hit cancel refresh here, which you saw what I just put there. So what that'll do is it'll actually download a station list for you of the local area and tell you exactly what you have available. So you can sort it by religious or you can sort it by uh, a country or R&B or rap or whatever you want to listen to. You can sort that um, to set a station. It's easy. Press and hold. It'll switch you over and then it shows the HD three. So this one's an HD three. I could go through and I could actually press and hold here and I could go and have the HD two. So you can separately have them in your stations. You can program up to 36. So if you like that country station or that rock station or whatever has the HD, do that. Um, I'll show you real quick down here. I'm going to show you, this is your auto. Uh, or, or your air conditioner you hit auto here you can see how things are changing it's getting uh, bigger you can see they're synced together which this is your sync button but as you get closer to the temperature it will back it up this works just like your thermostat at home it will automatically adjust for you based off of whatever the temperature you set is now if the person over here is cold hot or other you can have them do that this is your rear so you can have all these on different temperatures so keep the kids in the back warm cold whatever you want to do um, maybe you have groceries in the back and you want it really cold back there but you want heat up front you can do that thing is, is if you hit the sync button everything will go back to what you have up front until you manually 
change these or the person in that seat does that so you can definitely do that for you turn that off this right here is for your rear window defroster or your uh, heated mirrors so if you have heated mirrors you'll have that little icon that's in the bottom right if you can see it um, that looks like a little mirror or it looks like a little mirror with heat on it so that'll be there um, this will change your mode so whatever you're on so if it's on your face on your feet whatever but you have one touch for a defroster now I'm going to show you something else over here this right here this button actually turns on a heater under your windshield wiper so it's actually a windshield wiper de-icer so uh, you get in you start to heat up your car hit that button and let your windshield wipers de-ice along with everything else so if you have ice going um, that's also good and then over here too this is your parking sensors that's on a limited uh, the windshield de-icer is pretty much on everything so uh, other than the, the L uh, version of it so um, you'll you'll have that around so um, all of your USB ports are down here you have three USB ports here. Um, you've got two more in the back seat. You've got a, you got traction control, the snow button. What the snow button will do is it'll actually try to keep you from breaking loose the, um, the wheels in the snow. This is downhill assist control. Um, what that downhill assist control will do is all you have to do is you come over here to your shift mode. So once you get your, your gear shift all the way down, you go over into shift mode and then you can plus or minus, go minus all the way into first gear, hit that downhill assist control. It will maintain three miles per hour down a hill. Uh, all you need to do is steer. If you hit the brake or the gas, you disable it, you're back in control. And then that locks in your four wheel drive. Um, this is your heated and cooled seats turned to the side either way now if you have anything that's not the um, the limited then what that will do is you'll have a just a heated seat here uh, if it's the XLE or above if it's below the XLE then it will not have a heated seat um, so definitely that's there um, all your garage door openers are up here this is for your sunroof uh, sunroof's not available on the L or the LE um, so then we've also got uh, your down here this is your big contain or big um, center console you have to push this down and then pull back so you can see you've got separate so you can move those around just kind of showing you how that works also have another power port which is down in there so that's kind of the the end of the front here um also let you know that you've got additional power ports two additional usbs in the back uh, you also have a regular house plug that's on the back of your center console here um, so that's uh, definitely something that uh, uh, is very nice to know about um, but uh, yeah i mean the highlander i own one it's one of my favorite vehicles um, i think toyota outdoes themselves with most vehicles that they make um, but this one is by far one of the best vehicles on the market in my opinion um, Toyota Safety Sense, you got two years free maintenance, uh, and at Beeman we have a lifetime warranty that's uh, really second to none, it's really a great warranty. Uh, so definitely Stephen here, Beeman Toyota, uh, if you're anywhere near Nashville, uh, give me a shout, Stephen Welch here, um, or, or respond to this, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions or any uh, requests that you have. Uh, so definitely uh, take care, enjoy your Highlander, uh, you probably already have one if you're looking at this or you're considering getting one, um, it's, it's a great idea. Uh, they're made in Indiana. Uh, it's an American vehicle. It's just, it's a very, very good vehicle. Um, but definitely take care. We'll talk to you soon.